and the future mayor is going to talk more about that, stabilize these taxes. Help us help you. All right? And I'm going to wrap this up by saying, when you leave here tonight, I want you to tell anybody that will listen exactly what I told you tonight. All right? Because help is on the way. Help is here. I got to tell you, it is, it is exciting and it's going to be great to be on a ticket with a new and exciting leadership for this great place called Roselle. What you look for is positive leaders who bring people together. It's time to stop the fighting. It's time to not look and turn back the clock. It's time for a new day. It's time for a great day, Roselle. It's time for Jamel Holly to be the mayor of Roselle. But I'm here tonight to tell you I'm running for re-election and I'm looking for your support. One of the many accomplishments that we did in the past two years and a half, it's really to stable taxes in Roselle. If you look around the county, around the state, Roselle doesn't receive any aid anymore, but we still balance our budget, and then the tax is not really going crazy. And then you're still receiving the same services. Uh, we're trying, trying so hard to provide more to you for what you pay. I'm so excited to be on the ticket with Jamel Holly. I haven't been this excited to be on the ticket except when Barack Obama was running for president a few years ago, and I was lucky to be on that ticket. <laughs> this has been his lifelong dream for a very long time, and he is the man for the job. I'd like to introduce your future mayor, my brother, Jamel Holly. Yeah! never ever supposed to be a child 103 single parent single grandparent statistics will tell you that we would never have made it to this day tonight each and every one of you and I mean this I want you to take a second each and every one of you tonight have made a difference in this room tonight is a statement tonight is history and from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of my family's heart, and from the bottom of my mother and my grandmother, who is now born, we so deeply, deeply thank you. Our school districts have been raped and raped and raped. Our children are losing the funding that they need for just simple books, simple utensils. It wouldn't be right if we didn't have good members on the school board. And it all happens at the local level because at the end of the day, it's who hears our voices. And I'm telling you tonight that we have a good, 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 good solid team for school board. I'm supporting tonight the candidacy of Kerry Pope Napoleon, the Rainbow's body, Mr. Richard Valletta who's here, and then our newest star, who is going to be the youngest elected school board member in this entire county, Mr. R. Cage Antoine. Yeah! It's, it's not popular to be an elected official right now, if you haven't noticed. No, nobody wants to, you know, run for public office all the time. Everyone everybody wants to be a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah! <laughs> and, you know, you know, everybody wants to be a, a LeBron James and, and, and go into the NBA, but nobody wants to be an elected official that takes cur courage each and every day to stand out and, and acquire what it is to fight for what's right for people. And so, as I get ready to close, I want to end with thanking all of you because it is you that will make it happen. Believe me, it is you tonight who made a statement in this room. It is you that will carry the torch to victory. It is you that 
will be the example that tonight, when we talk about change, it began here. And for all of you, each and every one of you, I thank you. And as we leave here tonight, we go with two words. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah!